Hi folks, Keith Beardsley here with another edition of the Atari01.com blog. And I just thought this time we'd uh, take a look at that by-election result and see what we could take away from it. Well, first things we know is the Conservatives lost the by-election. And, uh, you know, they're out there saying, as usual, that, you know, you know these by-elections don't really count. They're not worth much. But you know what? They are. Because a by-election is when the voters can kick the government and send them a message that they're unhappy. It's one of the few times they can do it without kicking a government out. So by-elections are important. Now, when you lose one, like I say, the spin is, oh, it didn't matter, or, you know, it's a long liberal stronghold. He's a former provincial minister. Yes, he was in one of the most hated liberal governments in Ontario. But we lost. So clearly they've sent a message, the voters there. And listen, 26% turnout says a lot too. It says that they don't give a crap about either of the leaders. So that's something to keep in mind. And they certainly don't trust Singh either for that matter. So who got taught a lesson? Well, probably the Conservatives, because when you look at the current government, it's got so many problems, so many scandals, losing money left, left, uh, left and right, you know, this was a good time to send that government a message and the voters chose not to. So the message really for the Conservatives is, we don't think you're ready and we don't trust you yet. So that's something the Conservatives are going to have to work on. There's lots of, of uh, you know, fancy rhetoric and so on during the leadership campaign by all the leadership candidates, including Pierre. But there really wasn't a lot of solutions offered. And the population at this point is looking for solutions. Now, every time you see a Conservative MP, they're angry. They're angry about something. Who knows what today? Today it's a, you know, a flavor of the day. They're angry on some issue. Anger doesn't necessarily get you respect. And anger doesn't necessarily get you people's votes. So somewhere in there, they're going to have to tone this down a bit and come up with solutions that the people want to hear. They're going to have to pick their issues because you better believe the Liberals will. Now, there's so, I read somewhere that the Liberals are sending out a lot of fundraising letters right now. And you think this time of the year, usually the big push is in sort of the last quarter of the previous year. So here we are, you know, in the last quarter, sending out a lot of fundraising letters. Yes, they have to get the money in. They have to prove that they can raise as much or more money than the Conservatives can. Are they also getting ready for an election? This we don't know. We have Singh, bless his heart, he's out there saber rattling again that he's going to pull the plug on the Liberals over health care if they don't do something. I mean, if anyone believes Singh, well, I've got swampland in Florida for you as well. Trudeau has an option. He can throw a couple of billion dollars. I mean, he throws our money around anyways. He can throw a couple of billion dollars into some program that Singh wants and keep them happy. Or he can say, take a hike. I'll call an election. And if he calls an election, oh, well, he's got pretty good policies to run on. If you look at his gun control bill just now, do you think that's gonna hurt the liberals? No. Do you think it's gonna hurt the conservatives? Maybe in some of the sub, you know, the suburban ridings and in the urban, urban centers, it might possibly hurt. If you remember the Conservatives under Harper went after the so-called soccer mums, the people living in that 905 area code. Do you think a soccer mum cares about what gun you hunt with? Whether you have a rifle that can use X number of bullets or one bullet or a shotgun, they don't care. So there's one issue that actually will play quite well for the Liberals. And then of course we have the, the one that pops up every time and the Conservatives have yet to put it to bed, which is the abortion issue. And all the Liberals have to do is keep pointing to the United States and all those Trump supporters and those Republicans that basically took away the woman's right down in the United States and say, you know, we want to bring it here. There's always some conservative backbencher. And if the Liberals have done their homework, they found them. Some conservative backbencher somewhere at some party or some meeting who's going to be out there talking about that issue. So no matter what the leader wants to do, there will always be people will get 
basically cover in the media when there's an election. It's happened to the Conservatives several times over the last couple of decades. So it's just a by-election. We'll see if it's just a by-election or if the Conservatives take notice and start to adjust or if the Liberals decide to go earlier as opposed to later and take advantage of the Conservatives when the Conservatives still don't have the traction that they were looking for. We'll see. It'll be interesting. A Tory 01. Have a great day.